We are green. We are racing. And a good start by Courtney. But Germain has the inside line count. And look at Aschenbach's launch. He had a great launch there, Lawson Aschenbach. He now flicks to the outside. Can he make a move around the outside down into turn one? Germain comes back at Courtney. They slide in there. Jason Bell recovering from a poor start, but slides into the fourth position. Lawson looks to the inside on turn four. Thinks better of it. Courtney under pressure Ooh. right now. Germain with the lead. Courtney now stretches away from Aschenbach a little bit in second spot. Good move there, Martin Barkey on the move, and here comes Ian James Cow. Yeah, he was strong here yesterday. Look at that, Painos to the outside. He takes both of them in one move, Ian James up to fourth. Watch Nate Stacy's move. Yes, yeah, very late there. He's down on the inside. He could even be in the ABS at that point, Greg, and just gets down at the inside of Balo and turns him around. So, you know, I think he'd like to have that move over again. We've got to wait and see what sort of damage is on both cars. Now move by the inside, nicely defended by Ian James, but great stuff by Baptista. Makes it stick, takes position, he's up to fourth. The big story you see, the Porsche, the flying lizard Porsche of Ricardo Baptista Cal, he was closing on Lawson Aschenbach in third, and the reports are suddenly he just slowed, pulled over, and stop, we are now under a full course caution for Rodrigo Baptista parked on the outside. Lights out on the Cadillac ATSVR, the field heading into the VP Racing Fuels acceleration zone. And that is turn 17, the hog pen. And the rule is when you get in there, it's up to you to go. And Jamat dropped the hammer right at the apex, Cal. He lost all of that valuable mojo of that car when he tried that attempt. Lost the spot, oh, and Clennon! Carrying just way too much speed in. Wow. And now he's gathered up a lot of clippings in the radiator. And here we see right front problem for Mantella. So maybe he and uh, Clennon got into it a little bit. And Jamin just turned the race's fastest lap at a 155.087. This is another great battle. It's got about the same margin for the final podium spot. Lawson Aschenbach, our championship leader right now, trying to fend off Ian James. Look at the balance in this painter's car. They've got such a great crew, led by Tom Milner at the helm. Jamin takes the fast lap again in a 154.6, and the painter's on attack mode, Cal. On the final lap, Ian James <laughs> going for that final spot on the podium as Courtney continues to chase after Jamin. Nice clean run there through oak trees, managed that gap beautifully. Courtney will certainly reduce as they get up to the brakes on the 14, but Jamin looks to be in prime position to sweep the weekend. Yeah, look at this. Now Aschenbach has to go into defense mode. Okay, that's a couple of moves. I'm not sure what the stewards are going to be thinking about that. I, I think... guess as long as he's doing it first, but here comes Ian James. He's got the straightaway speed. He's got to run on Lawson Aschenbach. To the inside. I'm surprised Lawson left that door open. But he knew he gets to oh, the he touches him. He touches him. A gentle love tap. Ian James to the outside, side by side. Down through the roller coaster. And Aschenbach not wanting to give up. Oh, he touches touch. him. Another one. Here we go. Final corner. Oh, boy. Squaring out off the bottom onto the front straight. It is the Panos in third, but will he hang on to it? Jamad getting the win over Courtney. And here we go. It is the Panos getting its first podium in Pirelli World Challenge GTS competition. What a fabulous run. But Nico Germain up front sweeps the weekend, Cal. Wow, what a motor race. That was thrilling.